I'm here in our local balconizing shop and we have a tire of the multi cab that needs bulky thing so I'll be showing you how they do it here in the Philippines mostly manual checking but they have a machine now and how much it's gonna cost so this video is about balkanizing Filipino style so what I'm showing you here is how the Filipino balkanizing process is so that's our multi cab he's working on So, as you can see, we have an interior tire inside our multi cab. So, this is just located near the road where all the people can see that it is a vulcanizing shop. As you can see there, we also accept aircon, electrical, rewinding, radiator, battery, but it's mostly for vulcanizing tires. And like motorcycles multi cabs and mostly it's not the posh place that you can park your car and have your car done but it's still cheap compared to the posh shops that we yeah, you can see on the city so there's one worker there and he's doing two tires at once now he's doing this other one putting some sort of like patch because it's a tubeless tire so there he is Last time that I have my um, car, you know, my old banger service here, I pay like 75 pesos per tire. I mean, per hole on the tire because sometimes there's two holes. That's why it's flat. And with two holes, I pay 150 for tubeless. I'll just stay here on the side because to give him more room. So like he is renting this whole place for 4,000 pesos but it's right here near the road of Pitos near the Metropolis subdivision so it's located here beside is another subdivision the 888 breeze so there this is 4,000 pesos per month is renting on this place where he opened up his business of vulcanizing. So to bulk it that tire, tubeless, that size is 100 pesos now. So ours is smaller because it's only a multi cab 12 inch so it should have been cheaper since we have an interior lining it goes to this process as well it's the lining that's broken so they burn that one and then look for the hole on the interior tire so they mark it where the hole is and then they're gonna put it here on this burning thing to seal it off
Loy. <laughs> so he's putting up uh, another piece of rubber over it and then he will put it here and that's burning thing. That's our tire. There. And we'll, he will melt the rubber over to our interior wheel tire. Mga pila kami nuto in anak dong. Ah. So it will be two to three minutes. Or until that fire, sometimes they just wait for it to turn off by itself. So while he's working on the exterior one and checking it for holes as well. So it's not the cleanest place you can have a vulcanizing done but you can see how people try to earn a living they're also selling all the old tires and so there he's checking the old the exterior while he's waiting for the interior lining to melt on now he found a nail on our tire he's pulling it off There, he's pulling it off. There's a nail on the exterior that went through inside the lining that was here. He's pulling out the nail now. So he's gonna be putting a patch. So I wonder how much it's gonna cost. He's operating on the lining and operating on the exterior tires as well look he's still pulling out the, the nails that's stuck in the exterior tire so that's the nail that's stuck in our exterior tires So he's putting more fluid, lighter fuel fluid on the fire in there to seal the lining. And now he will put a patch on our exterior as well. So you can see that the fire is almost gone. And when it's gone, he'll blow it up again and pull, put it back on our exterior tires. So, what you're looking at, the way that how they bulkate, do tire vulcanizing here in the Filipino style. So the Lois asking all the rip tires, you know, rip lining that he can use for tying up his holes. So what you're looking at here, they are manually clearing out the drainage because the water is, is stagnating because it's you know the cold bird is covered by mud so it it overflows and towards his shop here in the vulcanizing place so they are doing it themselves clearing out the drainage doing it by hand look just doing it by hand, just taking out the rubbish underneath. It's mostly 
earth um, soil that's just um, stagnating underneath and it's filling up the whole culvert that's not very big that was put as drainage here. So you can see that the drainage is just a very small culvert and it won't take long for the earth to just cover it up so it's only a few volume of water can flow through and here's the other one also doing the same thing clearing out the drainage here but they just do this manually as well just piling it up on the side of the ditch so you can see it's still gonna go back when the water rise up so this is just a temporary solution that they can think as long as the water can just flow will not flood their shops because this is for the balkanizing auto shop over here on the back that's also renting on the back and then this one is our friend is doing the balkanizing for tires that one on the back is auto shop so now that the lining is done back to our balkanizing video they're smoothing it out and now they're gonna blow it put some grease And put it back on the fire so it's two or three times to be put in to the fire depends on how thick is your lining this one is only done twice lock lit it up put the fluid then match it put the match on and it lits up So that's the second time. So that's our interiors now. Finish and then last check for any holes. Put in water. So any bubbles, that means it's got holes. But since none, because that's the second time he checked it anyway. Try to pull it. Any air. There's none now no sounds of other air outlet so back to the exterior and then installed to the rim so they're using machines to install it before but it seldom happened that you know in the mountain area where they don't have this kind of machines that we're looking at here they really do it manually and it's not really nice to look at the rims of the tires that they just do it manually using tools but that's how the way they do it before without all these machines that do it like that and now put some air on it Seal it. Yeah. 
so they're measuring how much air it's in there we only put like 30 but this is where we have um, if you want a battery charging 80 for the vulcanizing so that cost me 80 pesos so seal on the exterior seal on the lining and putting it back together 80 pesos but if you have it done in some post shops and stuff like that it will get double the price like 200 pesos so Ila dong? Sixty pesos because they said that we're like suki means we're regularly doing our stuff here. <laughs> 